Madam, <coughs> budget is always a financial statement and also the policy declaration of the uh, present government. In that aspect, this government failed to address the real problems of this country, Madam. Madam, the budget has also failed to address the problem of tax collection, unemployment and price raise. The petrol and diesel price have skyrocketed and uh, uh, it is in the maximum level. The common man, marginalized people and minority people, they are suffering a lot by the wrong policies of this government. Madam, in the um, fund cut short policy of this government, that means the decreasement rate of uh, uh, fund allocation for Mandrega. It is an open challenge to the poor people of this country. And what is happening in minority affairs department? The fund allocation of the last budget, that means the present budget document shows it clearly. Last budget estimate was uh, 5,020 crores. But the, as per the revised estimate, 2,612 crore rupees only been expended by this government. And in the same time, the Maulana Masar scholarship has taken away. Any justification you have? That means the Maulana Asa scholarship is benefited to the thousands of minority people of this country. But without any reason, this government taken away that scholarship. It should be restored. And, and Madam, I, I would like to point out, Ministry of Environment and Forest, the present budget allocated 3,721 crore rupees as the uh, allocation. But it should be enhanced because I am coming from the area that which our farmers are suffering due to the uh, human-animal conflicts. This has to be sorted out. Human animal conflict means last 10 years, before, uh, last 10 years, uh, sorry, uh, last 10 years in my constituency alone, more than 65 people have been killed by the wild animal attacks. Last, ten, uh, uh, last week, one forest watcher, Satyavel, have been killed by elephant attack. And the state government not doing anything because they are having the financial constraints. Only the central government has to uh, do something. That for that, I am requesting here, this fund should be enhanced. Precautionary measures is very much necessary. It is affecting the livelihood of the people and the uh, wild elephants and uh, animals. They are coming regularly and attacking uh, the people and they are killing the people and they are destroying everything, the shops, the households, the, uh, uh, everything they are destroying. That, uh, that, that problem has to be sorted out. For that, the fund should be enhanced. And uh, the very important problem, uh, very important point I would like to highlight here, this government glorified the mega development works. I am, we are not against that. But at the same time, in the case of national highway development in Kerala, the promised announcements, this government promised and committed more than 12 cases there. That project should be uh, initiated this time. More than 12 national highway projects. In my constituency, there is a Parani Shabarimala project. It is the temple to temple connection road. Parani is situated in Tamil Nadu. And uh, from Tamil Nadu to Kerala, through my constituency, uh, this project should be uh, uh, started, madam. And also, Vijayapura Mundagal, uh, two minutes. Uh, Vijayapura Mundagal project also uh, uh, initiated by uh, this time. And uh, the very important uh, project, Angamali Shabari Railway. We are grateful to this government, 100 crore rupees allotted, but it is very mere. The revised estimate submitted by the Kerala Rail De Development Corporation, it is uh, 3,700 uh, 3, crores. It has to be accepted by this government and it should be uh, started. And Madam, uh, one, uh, one important pro, uh, uh, point, it is about uh, PM Adi Adars Gram Yojana. It is, uh, it is by the tribal department. The, but the budget allocation this time, the Honorable Minister claimed 70%. Madam, Madam, I am concluding. I am concluding by this. Uh, budget allocation, 70% increasing, increasing, we can see. But it is not benefited to Kerala because the norms saying that, as per the present norms, PM Adi Adars Gram Yojana, in a village, 50% of tri tribal people is needed. But in Kerala, that is not possible because uh, in my uh, constituency, more than 60,000 people population that, that they are tribal. But uh, in a village, crossing 50 percentage is not at all possible. The, the, that people are denying that project. That's why I am urge, I urge upon uh, the, the government uh, this norms should be changed okay. and it should be benefited to the people of Kerala tribal people. And also similarly, we are facing PM other okay. Gram Yojana. 50 percentage of SC. Population is needed in Kerala scenario. That is not possible. That norms also has to change, madam. And also for the for the uh, agriculture sector, uh, I am requesting for MSP for cardamom, pepper, and rubber. This government should act. 
धन्यवाद सभापति महोदय